excuse the no shirt, but it is a scorcher out, but we're gonna go underneath. Do this air spring job. There's lots of room under here. Step one is remove jounce bumper. And thankfully, she's not seized. It says it should take two to four hours for the average person, but who knows how long it'll take in real life. Pro tip number one, just spray the WD on there before you even need. That was the easy one. The other one has got the exhaust in the way. We'll have to get creative. Pre-assemble the unit as shown in the directions, but there is a misprint and you do have to put this piece, roll plate, that has to go on during this pre-assembly and they don't mention that in the directions. I'm gonna try this uh, duct tape compression trick and then once it's installed then i'll cut the tape it should spring into place well the sun is going down i got one side on it would be nice to get the vehicle jacked up nice and high but i just have a two ton jack so i'm not gonna push it but if you had a bigger jack it would be well worth it and look i'm just i'm filthy and sunburnt time to call it a night All right, it's a couple days later and wow, what a difference in temperature. It's dropped at least 15 degrees. Nice, sunny, no humidity. The directions said to pre-assemble the whole unit, but there was no way I could jack it up high enough to get all this in there. So I have to like mount the upper bracket, mount the lower bracket and then squish the air spring into place. So we do have to pre-assemble the bottom bracket. Make sure you have spring, pan, the bottom bracket. Put the bolts in and then torque it to 15 foot-pounds. I'm to go under the motorhome to attach the upper bracket. So the upper bracket goes right here where the jounce bumper used to be. And up there is that hole. That's the mounting hole. So I've got the spring compressed. And we have to remember that the long tab here goes towards the rear. Try and put the microphone the other direction here. So now I'm gonna go up by the rear end, under the exhaust, over the axle, and then we're gonna slide her into position and uh, that didn't go too bad. I must have this side jacked up a lot higher than uh, I did the other day for the other side. So now we'll get this in position. Next, we're gonna put this top plate between the upper bracket and the spring, but make sure that it's orientated in the correct direction. This one's kind of tricky. I can't believe it, but I think I actually got that stud lined up. So right now I'm threading the fine thread into the spring, and then pretty soon it'll bottom out. There, it just bottomed out inside the spring, and then now I'm tightening up the uh, lock nut. 
on the top of this stud. Chunk of exhaust rust in my eye. Feels real good. Wow, the neighbor's finally done mowing their lawn. It was like an hour. He's got like 50 feet. I don't get it. But we're now at this part here where we have to put the heat shield on. So it comes flat and you just have to bend these tabs up. And then I just used a pair of pliers, marked off the half inch space, and then used a pair of pliers and just bent the tabs to provide. I, I have a little tiny bit more than half inch, but that's good. And the kit provides two gear clamps attach like so, and then around the exhaust pipe. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So the directions state that you may have to move the exhaust because there won't be room for that heat shield. They shouldn't say may, should be you do have to move the exhaust. So to get that clamp off, yeah, you wanna use penetrating oil and I've got my, uh, my three foot Johnson bar with the ratchet head. And you gotta give that a good one because that's rusted on there pretty good. No matter what year it is, there's a lot of heat right there. So I got the exhaust moved, but so it's still a ways away from the frame there. Enough space for the shield. So we don't melt our brand new springs. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'll go tighten the exhaust. I'll go tighten the exhaust up at the front by the catalytic converter where we had to pull this whole unit back like about a half an inch. I think we pulled it back. So remember, this is the air quick connect. Take the line, push it in, and then give it a good push. And you'll feel it slide in. And then if you give it a good tug it won't come out hey, we're so close we just have to zip tie the air lines up got it right here now they say to cut it to size and even like send it right out the right out the side of the motorhome so that you can do that i plan on in this giant space right here putting in a 12 volt air compressor and a tank for also a future project that uh, you guys are gonna really love. It's gonna be fun, but I can't spoil it right now, but we need all this line. So I'm just gonna coil it up right here and save it and just, just make it look nice and that'll be good enough for now. for this job you need a treble light for underneath the motorhome speaking of underneath a good creeper works great side cutters i got half inch uh box end wrench plus a half inch speed wrench nine sixteenths plus the nine sixteenths speed the corresponding both the half inch and the nine sixteenths uh, socket with a ratchet. Uh, you do need the nine sixteenths deep socket for doing the shackles underneath that go around the drive shaft. You need the fifteen millimeter to do to remove the original jounce bracket off of the off the vehicle. Some extensions. I have. Um, the screwdriver with a uh, 5 16 socket that's for the gear clamps for around the um, exhaust uh, just a flat screwdriver knife a few different cable ties would really help out in wiring the um, the airlines at the end some penetrating oil uh, duct tape for compressing the springs to get them in there it's always a great idea also, um, I used the uh, impact uh, gun to help out, you know, hammer, Johnson bar, and, uh, and the, uh, the 5 8 socket for doing the exhaust, uh, pipe, crowbar, if you have any um, major issues, 
jack, obviously, and some safety stands, some mechanics wire to hold up the exhaust. We're testing out the new springs. As you see, it goes up, gives us a little bit more clearance for getting out of the driveway and uh, for helping with the weight. Motorhome dangles a lot off the back. But thanks for watching, and uh, if this video helped out, please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Check out all the other videos, and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.